Well, hello and welcome back to Star's Galaxy of Heroes 5-5 Green Arena. And the second opponent for this final week of the season is Fabu. Fabu is from Italian Strike. Uh, Italian Strike's back, I don't know why I just fumbled that. They got 876,000 Lexi score. Got 11.5 million GP, so roughly the same stats across the board. And uh, yeah, let's um, just go deal with this. So we got a Seer, a Qui-Gon, a uh, Ami Saw team, the Chirrutkron, a uh, Gas with Ami Captain Rex uh, up north. So that'll be an interesting zone, but we're going to deal with the south zone first because there's a Dark Trooper Moff Gideon, a uh, Ray, Vader, and then a Dash team with the Bamkron. So yeah, it's going to be a battle of what can I do correctly? Oof. Ooh, sorry. Okay, so Doubt boosted offense, uh, 52, basically 53% resistance, 25% crit avoidance. So, yeah, we will be, of course, doing Bane. Uh, we'll take Sass with him, because why not? But, yeah, let's see how this goes, because it'll be interesting. I, really want to just help. I was hoping Leia would be on defense, but I understand why she wouldn't be, to be completely honest. So. I'm not gonna lie. Half helping Thrawn in the first hit is always fun. Um, let's go ahead and get Vader out. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, Maul. Okay. Uh, let's do this again. Good. Now we can, can let's get rid of guard. Or don't. It's cool. There we go. Now he can't siphon the abilities off. Abilities. Stats off people. I know it's not really a siphon ability, but that's what I like to think of it as. So. Let's get some max health increased for Bane. Let's do that. We should be able to just do some hits like this and kill Vader without using the siphon again. Yeah, we didn't even have to use the siphon again. Okay, then. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's see. Do I have... Okay, I do have Reva. Uh, Dash team has the Bamkron, crit damage, deflection, yada yada yada. We're gonna rev it. Because... Ooh, sorry, why not? It's a sleepy day. Um, weather's kind of bleary outside, so... You know? Um... Mm, we'll use this one. I mean, I could do the doubt and uh, offense boost for this team, but at the same time... If I need that elsewhere, and can use it elsewhere, I can use it. Especially for that doubt roll. So, plus, I would hope Reva doesn't have too many issues with this team. You would think she wouldn't, but I guess time will tell, huh? Okay, there goes that. That's fine. Rock the Whistling Birds real quick, because, yeah, he's gonna heal. Well, thank you for death marking yourself and being in damage immunity. Bleh. Oh my god. Quit healing everyone, you bastard. Okay. Well, good thing is... Uh, he's still in damage me. That's not the good thing. Um, this, the good thing is, is there's no um, Hondo or IG-11 to keep AoE in me. Can you please get out of damage me for crying out loud? Thank you. Of course, now I can't kill him. But, you know. Oh, no. No, I can't because of the Datacron. We literally have to wait for him to get out of the Whistling Bird stance to die. Or let him die. Okay. Like, he'd be dead already, but because of this Datacron, he ain't.
Thank you for wasting another, like, 40 seconds of the battle for no reason. Alright. Uh, let's go deal with Ray. We got a protection up Kron. Some crit avoidance, some, some nasty deflection. Well, more resistance than deflection, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Mm, we're gonna do good old Leah. I know how unfun. Uh, sure, why not? Hmm. <sighs> the stupid temperatures plunged outside. So you know. Yeah. Um. You've got to be fucking joking me, game. God. I'm <laughs> so pissed right now. Blue stacks crash as soon as I hit, like, the first move on Leia. Like, you've got to be kidding me, game. Like, as soon as I hit the first move on her, game just decided, nah, I don't want to cooperate. Uh, so... Yeah, now I've got a... I've given Fabu a out because of that crash. Thank you, Blue Stacks, you bastards. Very cool. Very fucking cool. I am so livid right now. Like, it's not even a joke. I'm, like, legitimately pissed because... I wouldn't have had to use Starkiller here if my fucking... If the stupid... uh. Uh, if Blue Stacks hadn't just gone kaput inside the, you know, fuck of me, you know? So, here we are. Having a two-shot. Uh, a, a ray. All because of Blue Stacks. Just being uncooperative. So, that's cool. Um, I just wanted to make sure I had shock on her before she went into ult. I'm just so annoyed right now. Like, I'm... <laughs> Legitimately pissed because, like, I, I could have used Star Killer elsewhere, but no. Here we are having to deal with Blue Stacks' own issues. Thank you, Blue Stacks, you piece of shit. I do need ready to take a turn. Thank you. Might as well get... Oof. Was not expecting... Uh... Sorty to get killed by that. But, uh... We'll take it. Let's go ahead and yank down that Star Destroyer. Of course, we're gonna get Raid killed before she can bring Ben back. No, of course not. Because she barely has to hold on to that health threshold. Okay, well, at least Big Ray is perma-dead. Now, JTR is perma-dead. I really hope this drop, this unintentional drop, by the way, doesn't uh, ruin this gak. I mean, it probably will, but now I really have to make up banners elsewhere because of that. So, that's, that's nifty. Thank you, Blue Stacks. Very cool. Um, what does Dark Trooper Moff Gideon have? Uh, boost off, into course, doubt, crit avoidance, deflection, crit damage. Okay, um, I was gonna say, do I have, uh, Malgus, but no, I forgot I left him on defense this week. Because we can't have everything on offense. Can't have nothing on defense, so. Here we are having to deal with it, either way. Okay. Okay, let's just basically insta kill my uh first order stormtrooper, huh? I'm just go ahead and leap, just well not leap, I'm going to the ult just so I can see. Okay, I got Death Trooper, that's better than no one, I guess, so 
Uh, let's poke Storm. Let's poke Dark Trooper. That's not really fine, but it's what we had to deal with. Start AoE swiping. Now let's leap again. Not kill anyone, because of course not. What is their scout meta out of? Like, damn. Well, at least that almost got her, but like, still. Okay, there we go. That's better. Now let's play Ring Around the Rosie with Dark Trooper Moth Gideon. <laughs> no, I don't want you to take a turn. What does the Inquisitors have? They have the Doubt Chrono, unfortunately. Luckily, it's not the 400% offense boost, but they do have basically 40% extra critical damage and a nice little chunk of potency. Oh, wait, I don't have Treya on offense, do I? No, I don't. Hmm... I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. Like, I legitimately don't know why I forget to take Treya off of defense or something else. I legitimately keep forgetting to do that, but that's on me. Just how it is. I'm stupid. Uh, let's throw the thermals down real quick. I just have to make sure I don't cleanse anything, basically. Which is going to be extremely difficult to do. Oh, wait. She has stupid... Oh, I know she has a thermal now. That's good. So we can start hitting her. Or not. God damn it, game. Why do we- why do you gotta fuck with me like this, game? Just- just fucking why do you have to? Like, you're really, really just pushing my buttons today. Okay. She's dead, at least. Do you please leave him alone? Okay, well, we've lost our thermal thrower. So that's lovely. I can't cleanse, because if I cleanse, they're just gonna fucking throw, uh... <laughs> oh my fucking god, game. Okay, like I said, if I cleanse, they're just gonna get death marks, so I can't do that. That means I'm probably... Oh, finally Boba. Finally Boba gets the damage immunity. They've literally one-shot him all the other times. Good, good god... God damn game, why must you be this way today? Just fucking why? Whatever. Buzz off. Buzz off, Reva. Okay. I I don't fucking care about food's speed or anything. Okay. 60% deflection on a datacron. That is ridiculous. And it's also the stupid uh, Doubtcron, so, you know, go figure. So we will be doing... Uh, obviously, we will be doing JML against this. One, because I don't have... Where the hell is Kylo? Oh, I used Kylo already. I'm like, hey, where the hell did I put Kylo then? <laughs> like, wait a second. Where did Kylo go? <laughs> I legitimately had a slight panic moment there. I'm like, wait a moment. Wait a second.
I can't heal because of the stupid Dalkron, so we're just suffering at the moment. Of course, cut me up there. He goes into ult. I was honestly just trying to get some get, uh, protection back and a little bit of health, but better than nothing, I guess. Okay, what is this team going to have to throw me off kilter? Okay. Ooh, okay, a good thing is not to know Revive Prawn because I'm going to Night Sister this, but um, I honestly didn't know what in the world to expect from this team, so I'm like, Ugh. please don't let it be the no Revive Prawn, please, God. Is I don't need that at the moment. Like I'm trying to make up banners, not lose more banners. I'm just so fucking pissed right now. Oh, that's cool. They immediately go first. That's nifty. Let's do that. They must have this team supercharged. Gonna get rid of all those little fancy buffs of yours. Huh, interesting. So you just get the magical capabilities of basically nuking out Marin that quickly. Like, okay, game. Now I gotta bring back Asage, so that's spectacular. You know, if any of those hits had actually killed Ben, she'd be alive. But no, we gotta do this the hard way. By letting them die to 18,000 plagues. Which is also fine by me, because... Yeah. Oof. And it still got max banners, even though it didn't look like it for a moment. Okay. Okay. So we've got an Omni Saga team here. Do extra tenacity, deflection, and resistance. Good thing it's not the heal over time recovery bit, but it does have protection up. And like I said, it is a Omni Saw team. So this will not be obviously the easiest thing on the planet to kill, but no. Now we just had some, something I kind of had to deal with, you know? Alright. Let's see how this goes. I need B2 to take a turn rapidly so we can start getting rid of all those buffs. Or don't get procced at all? There we go. Nope. Still not procced. Still, still not procced. And of course, by the time he is procced, all of the uh, healer times were gone. But, oh well, whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Nice little deflect, little dodge there for Chirrut. Because, you know, that's what this team needed was a fucking dodge. Oh cool, all of my... The abilities are on a uh, one turn cooldown. So that's cool. I like how we've not gotten anything rolling because of the ridiculous uh, ridiculousness of this Dacacron. Like, it's not from lack of damage output, we're just, well, we're actually not doing a lot of damage output, honestly. So, never mind. Can we please kill somebody? Anyone? No? Maybe? Kind of? 
There we go. <coughs> I love that BT is able to get a quad kill there. It's beautiful to watch. Alright, we've got Doubtcron, uh, extra cut avoidance, resistance, and crit damage. We will just be doing C against this because there's no point in really not doing C against this team. Uh, what's this? We'll take you. We'll also take in Miss Armorer just in case we need those uh, stats. You know, maybe we will, maybe we won't. But if she dies and doesn't give me best car, that's gonna be lost banners on my part. She's probably gonna die regardless. But you know, I'm more, you know, pressed about um, Watts Tank Tech. Now, if she can get a turn before Malakos starts doing Malakos things, that'd be spectacular. Never mind. Malakos is doing Malakos things and going directly for her. Okay. How much we can do about that? Just gotta weather the storm and deal with it. Okay. Well, at least we were able to get the Beskar off. That's, that's better than nothing. My brother in Christ, we know you have Ripase. Kindly please stop using it. We don't care that you have Ripase. Well, that was a bit of a waste of a of a lightsaber throw there, Seer. What the hell? You wasted it on a person that was on a sliver of health when a basic would have basically done it. <laughs> basic would have basically done it. Damn it, I'm stupid. Anyways, but like. Yeah, it seems like a bit of a waste of time there. Uh, you know. You do you, game. You do you. I really do feel like that tr that unprompted drop on Ray is going to cost me. But then again, you can't control blue stacks and when the game decides to crash, so. And I did completely, like, restart blue stacks after that because... Hell no, I'm not going to let it stay up and running after I did that. Uh, let's throw some... Or not. Let's not throw any shock on Cal. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't want shock on Cal anyways. It's fine. It's fine. Now he's got to chip away through his health. Speaking of Cal, I do have Jedi Knight Cal finally on Relic 7. It's only taken me... I've had him since October. It's now March. Let's see. Five months, basically, to Relic him up to 7. Or finally get him worked on properly. Uh, it's not really the best optics, but you know. Uh, yeah. Um... Okay, so they've got the protection up, Kron. They've got crit damage, crit avoidance, nasty, and resistance. Apparently, a gas mirror works against this, but with like the full 501st instead of the instead of Captain Rex. So uh, I will give it a shot in the dark. We're gonna go with this because that's a lot of extra crit damage for me. And I gotta ponder over what I'm gonna do against Qui Gon because I legitimately have no idea. Um, I can't really, um, I can't really Grievous it because I don't have B2 laying around, obviously, because B2 went with Afra. Good lord, is it my turn yet? No, no, wait, I don't get any abilities because they're all on cooldown. Thanks to goddamn, uh, what's his name? Rex and Gas, so... As long as gas doesn't go down while uh, their gas is down, I guess I'll be okay with it, but like, I don't know. Okay. It's actually kind of shocking he didn't, but you know. Alright, we're gonna go for big gas because we have to. 
There we go. Back in a nap time for him. Now we need to get rid of their fives. If we get a chance, that is. If they don't keep taking 18 turns. Good lord. Of course, we gotta have this stupid little protection thing pop up. Or their, uh, their clones. So... Okay. I really hate Captain Rex. So, fuck him. Well, that's not good. Now their gas is going to be hitting ridiculously hard. So, it is what it is. Okay, let's get rid of their Rex before he starts Rexolating my team. Now for their Echo. Good job, boys. We're doing good. Now let's pass it back over to Echo, because why not? I didn't do anything I wanted it to, but okay. Not that it matters, because we got him. Not the prettiest, but we got him. So the Qui-Gon team here has Kellerin, they have Cam. Uh, they've also got the protection up Kron, crit damage, tenacity, crit avoidance, yada yada yada. I'm gonna see if the Bad Batch can pull it off. And yes, I finally have Omega Relict on Doya here. So, um, yeah. Mm, crit avoidance would probably be good, especially with Anakin doing Anakin things eventually, so... Let's go. It's also really weird finally having Omega Relict. So let's get rid of those buffs real quick. Or some of them. I know with Keller in here, basically we're not going to be able to stun anyone. Because of the tenacity up and crap, so... We just kind of had to deal with it. Okay, good. He wasted that. Do this real quick. I'm trying to get through... Uh, that heal on Wygon. Okay, there we go. Got rid of that on him, but the problem will be now is Anakin. Oh, oh boy, boy. Okay. <laughs> we dodged that attack. That's good. Now for getting through Cam, unfortunately. Because he can hit hard and so can Kellerin. So. Oh boy. Oof. Okay. We got lucky with that dodge. This isn't going as bad as I thought it would be, honestly. But I imagine once more people start getting Kellerin pushed up in the Kellerin Datacron. With the next Datacron set, this will not be a simple fight in the slightest. So, yeah. Okay. It was fun, though. But, yeah. Alright, now... Okay, so we've got a Sith Fighter out front. Not Sith Fighter, it's High Dag. That's Sith Fighter. It's just High Daggers out front. It's an interesting choice for the Leviathan defense. Okay. I I'm not going to complain. I don't know what to make of it, but I mean... I'm not going to complain, especially after Blue Stacks giving me the fuck you crash at the beginning with Ray, so... Okay, so they burn through the, what is it called, vengeance stacks already. And yes, I know I need to be a little bit more careful with those uh, heals from Malgus's Fury class interceptor. Because that's probably what cost my main, the uh, mirror, the other day. So, 
you know, there is that. Uh, nice little dodge, how rude. Oh. Well, there goes their Sith fighter. Let's go ahead and call in my interceptor. Let's AOE. Let's get rid of him. I know I probably should have gone for Malagus, to be completely honest with you, but I wanted their cleanser to go away and ended up taking over the capital ship anyway, so. Alrighty, well. That's one less fight to worry about. Now let me see what my phone's going off for because I haven't read its notifications yet. Let's see. Um. Oh, okay. Just a whole bunch of other game notifications for different stuff. I like how we didn't get through the bulwark until just three minutes into the fight. Three minutes in. Not not earlier. <laughs> three minutes in. Like, alright, game. Whatever. Whatever, float your boat. You're not ever gonna make sense, but you know. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Uh, deal with lovely, 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 lovely executor. And by lovely, I mean I hate it. Well, I actually hate the rebels more than anything. Mm. Okay. Whew. I knew that was going to be a risk because if I didn't get any assist, the Xanadu would still be alive. So I was, you know, erring on the side of caution with that. Not really caution, but worry. Uh, let's go after. Not Xanadu. IG would have been alive still. Not Xanadu. Xanadu. There's this one over here, you dummy. Let's get rid of Xanadu. There we go. Good so far. Okay, that's annoying. Let's get rid of that protection. Or just a dodge. Okay. Okie dokies! Alright, let's... Okay, we'll have contract, though. Not contract. Yeah, sure, we'll call it contract. Whatever you want to call it. Ultimate contract. The big removal of capital ships. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean. I hope. <laughs> I hope you do. Alright, so we just gotta blap or Razor Crest out of existence because he's all by his lonesome. And now for dealing with the malevolence. Malevolence. I really actually am enjoying using the resistance fleet on uh, offense. Which isn't really something I'd ever expect to be saying, but whenever the comeuppance came out, I really didn't think it'd be worth much. I thought, oh cool, now you have a fifth finally for your resistance fleet. Coolio. But then, you know, since then you actually start using it, it's like, oh, it's actually like Really, really great at causing issues for certain fleets. So. Because that, that just extra offense you get from it being re- like, uh, is it for it being the reinforcement or whatever, but you get, what, the 25% offense, and it's just like, oh, okay. Like, okay, we're gonna lose the bomber, of course, but not much you can do about that. I'll go ahead and do this. Or I'll do this. And <laughs> just blap them all out. Like, you can't even, can't even make it up. So, what? That. Are you kidding me? That one drop fight made me go below 1800. Okay, whatever game. Well, thanks to that lovely blue stacks crash against their uh, ray down here, I end up losing 1810 to 1787. Well, I think 
I would actually have been still close if I hadn't had that drop. But uh, yeah, because of that, I lost and it is what it is. Not much you can do about it. Anyways, if y'all enjoyed, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe. Um, as always, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys later. I hope you have a good rest of your day.